Well, national and local homeschooling advocates say interest is up dramatically in recent months as the pandemic has impacted in-person learning. And 2 News reporter Adam Rive continues our coverage of coronavirus here at Fox. In the past few months, the engagement and membership in homeschooling Facebook groups and online forums has increased by seven or eight times the usual levels. Now, advocates are educating families about what homeschooling entails as an uncertain fall semester approaches. In the last month, we have added 1,100 new families to Ohio homeschooling parents. It's absolutely exploded over especially the last three weeks. Homeschool advocates say the coronavirus is leading many Miami Valley families to consider pulling their children from in-person school systems. Lisa Cox started homeschooling in Huber Heights in 2002. She's a certified teacher and now helps families decide if homeschooling is right for them. A lot of families are saying we're just going to start homeschooling to keep it to keep the continuity for this year. It's a nationwide trend Jay Allen Weston is seeing as executive director of the National Homeschool Association. An awful lot of parents are now coming to the realization that this is something that they're probably going to be doing um, at least for many months, if not uh, another year or two. Cox says distance learning at the end of the spring semester put a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths, but it's not homeschooling. My heart goes out to every parent who did that work because it was difficult for everyone. It's not stressful for us to choose curriculum and do a lesson a day with our kids. And homeschool parents tell her the pandemic has impacted them, shutting down libraries, field trips, and social events. There's still a lot of support, so you don't have to do it alone. School districts are planning for the return of in-person classes this fall, but Lisa Cox says the uncertainty is enough for many families to homeschool this next year and maybe beyond. In Dayton, Adam Rye, 5 on 2.